In hour number two of Late Night Health, we're going to have Adam Markell uh, talk to us about uh, pivot and health. We'll find out what that means. And also, we'll be speaking with Stephen Halperin, uh, who creates music for health. And I've been using his music to fall asleep by. It's a real, very relaxing kind of a thing. We'll talk more about that next hour here on Late Night Health. And I know that Robert Clancy is actually a fan of Stephen's work. Uh, and speaking of Robert Clancy, the author of Soul Ciphers, he is on our line now. Hello, Robert. Hi, how are you? I'm yeah. doing doing <laughs> great. I'm looking forward to being uh, motivated. And that's our yeah, so topic today. Yeah, that is today. today's topic, getting motivated. So how do you motivate yourself and what is the catalyst in your life? Enthusiasm, great interest and excitement for something can be an incredible driving force. You just need to harness it. So I love the word in, in this enthusiasm because uh, enthusiasm meant inspiration or actually possession of divine presence. So this leads me to believe that to be filled with enthusiasm, you must also be filled with love. Mm. I have so many thoughts on this. Um, I love the word enthusiasm too. But I see that a lot of people get enthusiastic about a project. It goes to a certain level and then it falls off. Have you noticed that? Yes, it can happen. And one of the things that you can do is know that, you know, as you have that initial excitement, when you're finished with it, that's double. So look what you have forward to. If you set it to that higher goal of actually completing something, it feels so good to get it done. It's actually double what it was when you initially started out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And at the same time, there are people who don't seem to be motivatable, if you will. And does motivation have to come from within, or can I motivate you? It can be a great team effort, and I've actually have uh, our great friend Swami, the Orange Cowboy, Swami Sadashiva Tirtha, uh, and we actually bounce ideas off each other, and believe it or not, we were so motivated last weekend, we wrote and produced and designed and completed an entire book in, in one day. And as well as a, a, you both have courses online now. We'll have those. We'll have links to those on our website soon. Our webmaster has been a little bit busy. Um, so yeah, writing books. To your question, absolutely. Yes. If you team up with somebody, you can actually uh, channel each other's enthusiasm for the project and even get bigger things to happen. And it's uh, it's co-creation, collaboration. That's what I love. Right. Like no. the co-part. <laughs> it makes sense. But there are people out there who are listening to us now who are saying, yeah, but ah, I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too hot. I'm too cold. <laughs> what? It's never, never a bad time to get motivated about anything. And really the motivation comes from making one simple change in your life. If you make one change today, it could motivate you to greater things. Um, I look at, you know, especially this time of year when everybody's getting back into the gym and they're they're trying to lose the holiday weight. And if you keep yourself motivated, you, you have to first get yourself that catalyst and then visualize where you're going. Um, make that simple change, just one thing to, to change in your diet, you know, lose that soda, maybe drink less soda or coffee that week or something. You run a business uh, uh, that's ever-changing. You run a technology design business, and it's every week it's changing. How do you stay motivated when you don't know what people are going to need or want next week? I mean, I know you, well, you, you... That's the motivation. It's just the excitement of the unknown of what's coming in, and that's what keeps me motivated because every week is different, and I, I absolutely love the change and the different things that come in. And yeah, you know, technology, when we took on web development and believe it or not, it was 1989 when we first got online, but 1994 when we launched our first website. Think of the changes from then to now and how exciting things are, you know, now we have Absolutely. live streaming video and everything else. 
Absolutely. Robert, thank you very much. Uh, visit uh, soulciphers.com uh, or um, um, guide to the soul.com for more information on Robert or go to late night health.com. Robert's picture is on our homepage. Click on his nose and it'll take you to his website. All right, uh, that wraps up Hour 1. If you want to hear Hour 2 of this week's edition, go to LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com. I'm Mark Allen. I turn it over to Daryl to take it away. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents or just have fun find out about the advertising opportunities with late night health call us at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at late night health.com that's info at late night health.com join late night health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care call now at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308